What do the next few months hold for Aries? What do they need to be aware of? Okay, Aries, um, according to the cards I've laid out, you're coming out of a very uh, tense time, especially financially, um, where you've just been getting by. In fact, you uh, it's almost like living paycheck to paycheck and always that intense stress of not quite having enough. But that time is, is uh, going away uh, and you're coming into a time of abundance. And it's a spiritual abundance. It's the universe is opening up and going to be blessing you with some stuff. Um, you have a need to surrender and let go of the uh, poverty mindedness that you've been carrying that is no longer working for you. That's uh, having to release that. Uh, it's kind of like when... Um, You've been really, really busy. You've been like working eight or nine days in a row and suddenly you have a day off and your body doesn't know what to do with that because it's just it's just used to going and going and going and suddenly you don't have to. And it's a time of rejuvenation and, and, and you don't know how to handle that. But it's a very, very powerful time for you spiritually. Uh, what I'm showing here, you have a whole lot of hidden influences going on. Um, I, I will say from the outset, one of the few runes that's up over here is the one that deals with finances, and it's actually coming up into its upward position, which actually gives you a lot of relief in your emotion areas. Uh, those two were actually stacked. Um, but you have been feeling a lot, a lot of being like uh, squeezed in too much, too constrained. Um, it's like it feels like things are a struggle, you know, like you've been working and working and working and not able to get a foothold on things. And part of that is that you're using your strengths against yourself. Mm. Um, and that's causing some major malfunctions. Uh, one of the suggestions that I've got here from these is that you need to work with your creativity more. I think you're getting very blocked into a very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very I'm hearing traditional, uh, okay. very, what's the, the, the hierophant has Traditional, uh, yes. the, it's almost a rut. Yes, yeah, it's like you've almost kind of gotten yourself into a rut, and I think it's, I think it's that, um, you know, your your thinking patterns have been just over and over and over because things have been difficult, very, very difficult. Yeah, and so again your creativity is probably your best way out, whether this is using your creativity in your job or whether it's, you know, doing something that you enjoy doing creativity, creatively outside of work, whatever it is, that side of yourself, you need to get in touch with that. And I think that's going to see you through some of this. And the last thing that's up here is that you have your potential up. So it's like, your situation is starting to get clearer and you can make of this what you want. It's a matter of getting your direction defined and being able to move forward with that. I, I absolutely agree with the whole creativity thing. Your creativity is coming back in. I, I know for myself and a lot of people I read for that one of the first things that goes is our uh, our artsiness, whether it be writing or painting or singing or uh, whatever it is that we do that artistic expression. 
and then that leads to depression when we don't have that that um, way of expressing ourselves that expression and so your creative expression is coming back um, there's also new friendships new kinships coming in of more like-minded people uh, I get a sense that you've been sort of stagnant in the uh, social aspect of life that you have uh, probably almost become like the my well not the miser but you pulled your energy in because it's too much energy but you've got new people come in and then what's really important is uh, working on your open-mindedness and it's going to be like opening a door a little bit at a time because it's been shut but there's a lot of new new concepts coming that are a whole lot of fun so it's it's a time of, of uh, you emotionally have been in bondage, but now is the time to get out of that bondage. The door will open. You can do that. Yeah. One of the things that as soon as you started talking in big giant letters in my head, I heard play. Mm -hmm. So it's time to play. Basically, you need to go out and allow yourself that playful side of yourself. I think that's been very shut down. It's also part of what's keeping your creativity from being able to blossom and to uh, help you. So, you know, he was talking about new people coming in and perhaps they will be offering chances of play um, that you haven't done. And this doesn't mean like a romantic relationship kind of mm, new people. Not at but all. It's just new, new friendships, new, just people that you, you really click with and that can help you kind of break out of where you're at right now you know um but yeah like i said the the you know the main thing is that you're using your strengths against yourself and um you know that would be sort of the bullheadedness well not bullheaded but ramheadedness you know where it's like you just keep butting your head against something until it gives and right now that doesn't that doesn't do you anything you know, that's one of your strengths that's totally against you. I'd like to add here, you're, you mentioned like it's not romantic. This is not a time for romance in your life. Mm -hmm. That would be a total distraction and you'd make it way too much hard work. You've been adulting too long and to making adult life so very difficult. It's time to let your child uh, come out a little bit and play. Um, you certainly will have a balance doing that. Things are lightening up a little bit, so you'll have time to do that. Yeah. Creativity. The other thing is, is, yeah. The other thing is, is again, you have um, the rune that deals with constraint and feeling very bound up in its in its uh, downward position. So it's not something that's real visible to you. What you're probably feeling is a lot of angst or tension or just like underlying rage for no apparent reason okay and the problem is and this is why i think the play is coming up is because it's almost like you've got this festering wound you know because you're not necessarily paying attention to it you're not really like dealing with it and i think the play will allow you to get rid of some of that pressure that's built up you know and it will allow you to move out of that uh that phase of this really, really just stuck position. And that, that rage that you're feeling is directed at self. It's coming out sideways on other people, but it's really, you're angry. My sense is you're feeling angry at yourself because of the position you've ended up in life is not where you thought you should be at this point. So reality is you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You just made it a lot harder than it needs to be. Don't we all? <laughs> That's all well, I see. Do you see anything else? Good luck to you. No, sir. That's well, it. Thank you. So like good luck. Share. And play. <laughs>